All right. Anyways, so now we're going to do these problems. These problems, guys, are so easy to do. It is not even funny how easy these are. The key thing is, is all you got to know is the definition of an amp. That's a coulomb per second. Never think of it as an amp as an amp, but as a coulomb per second. Yep. And think of a Faraday as a coulomb per mole of electrons. So it's just a big dimensional analysis problem. Now I've got magnesium, and I want to make um, magnesium metals. So the reaction is Mg2 positive goes to Mg because magnesium chloride has a charge of plus two, yep. and we'll say two, two electrons, electrons here. That's important, that two electrons. Very important. And you'll just start with the be given now. So you have 1,000 grams. I like yep. to start with mass, 1,000 grams of Mg. Let's convert that to moles. So what can you convert to? Moles. So I can say there's 24.3 grams, grams of magnesium in one mole of magnesium. Where'd you get that number, Mr. Burton? I got that from the periodic table. Which happens to be rattling around in his head. I happen to just know that number. I didn't have to actually look at the periodic table because it was in my brain cells. Yep. I know that's sad and sick. Okay, the <laughs> next thing is I have moles of magnesium. Yep. And from this reaction, here's my moles of magnesium. Yep. I want to convert to moles of electrons. Yep. So I can say one, one mole, mole of magnesium is equal to two, two moles of electrons. Yes. The moles of magnesium cancel. I now want to convert to... Coulombs. Now we've got that number, 96,485 96, coulombs per, per one mole of electrons. Yes. So the, I can say one mole of electrons is equal to 96,485 coulombs. <laughs> the moles of electrons cancel. Nice. Yeah, like that. Good. All right. Now, this is coulombs per second. Coulombs per second. And there's 50 of them. Mm -hmm. so, so I can 50 say 50 C in, C in the bottom, and I can say one second. And what asks for? Time. Bingo. Guess what? The coulombs cancel. I have seconds. So how many seconds is that, Mr. Sanders? I am punching it into my calculator. 1,000 divided speak. by 24.3 times 2 times 96,485 divided by 50 equals? 158823 seconds. So 158,823 seconds. Probably in sig fig land. If we said that was 1,000, four sig figs, we'd say, you know. We eight, could do it in minutes. Yeah. Divide, divide by 60, 2647 minutes. 2647 2, minutes. Or 44 hours. Or 1.84 days. Or 1.84 days. Thank you, Chris, from the peanut gallery. All right, so not so hard. It's just a big dimension analysis problem. You get a problem with this Navy test and you go, yes, it's so cool. All right, because it's easy. Oftentimes, though, on the AP test, you'll see one like that in the multiple choice section. You won't even actually have to calculate it. They'll just say, how do you set it up? Or, like, what are the appropriate, like, which of the following is an appropriate way to set it up? And basically, they just want, like, units and yeah. stuff like that. It's all about so. canceling units. This yeah. next problem, example two, it's going to be solving for mass instead of uh, moles. So we're going backwards. Now, it was a chromium-3 to chromium, so I've written my reaction. Yep. This is going to be those three moles of electrons. So what am I going to start with? I'm, I'm going to start with my time. time, time. Last good. time we started with mass and went to time. This time we're going to start with time and go to mass. So two days. Yep. I can say one day, but i got to convert to seconds because that's the amps are Exactly. In. One day is uh, 24 hours. Yep. And then uh, one, one hour, hour is 3,600 seconds. Yep. One hour is 3,600 seconds. Now I've got to seconds. Okay. Now, uh, amps are coulombs, coulombs per, per seconds, second. and I have my amperage at 7.6. 7 so 7.60 coulombs, coulombs for one second. So my seconds cancel. Now, the way to get rid of coulombs is use a Faraday. Faraday 9645. And that's for every one mole of electron. Now from this balanced equation, I have three moles of electrons because of the three over here for every one mole of chromium. And I need one more thing. You need the molar mass of chromium. Do you 52, know that I think, isn't it? Oh, I'm trying to One look. mole of chromium 52. Man, you're is 52 good grams grief. of chromium. Yeah, so I, I've, I've taught chemistry for Creepy. way too long, probably. Uh, yeah, I, yeah, I know the men fit two sig figs. Actually, uh, MG I knew for 24.3. Okay. All right, what is two, that? 236. 236. And what units would that grams. be? Grams. So two days, you get 236 grams of chromium. By the way, that's not very much. Mm. Think about this. This this is the chromium. Remember that my guy, he didn't use chromium 3 positive, but same basic concept. Two days at, at, at 7.6 amps. Can you make money doing that? Uh, for only 236 grams? Eh, Probably not. No. So that's why he used, like, 100,000 volts yeah. or 100,000 amps. Yeah. It happened a lot faster because if oh, you yeah. change this number to 100,000, it's mm -hmm. going to do it a lot faster. Yep. So he used lots of electricity. Yep. All right.
Now, this one's asking for the actual amperage. Mm. So amps, amps are coulombs per second. So we're solving for coulombs per second. Yes. So it's the same deal, CR going to CR3 positive. I, uh, now, this has eight hours, but that's yeah. already... It's, uh, that's a time in the bottom. So it's just to go in the bottom. We could easily get the moles into coulombs, I think. Let's just start with 0 0.250 moles of chromium and put that over eight hours. Okay, let's do eight hours. Good call. So we got uh, moles per time unit. Yeah. So let's convert our moles of chromium into coulombs. coulombs. So right. I can say one, one mole of chromium. Actually, I forgot my three you electrons. Forgot your electrons yeah. And actually, I think I mean, we're doing it right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Three moles of electrons. Would and you that, have done it differently, just for the sake of discussion? No, I think this okay. is the way. I, okay. had, I think it's through. Oftentimes, guys, the way we do it, there might be other ways. This is just how we do it. I might have actually just solved for the coulombs and then just divided by the time after oh, the fact. Okay. That would have worked too. I like one big. I do too, usually, but I, I just hadn't thought it through yet because yeah. we're looking at these problems for the first time, actually. What Since else? last year. Since <laughs> last year. And then uh, where am I at here? All right, I've got moles of electrons. So I can say one mole of electrons is 96,485 coulombs. Coulombs. Voila, we have a C in the numerator. So the moles cancel, the moles of electrons and the moles of chromium cancel. Now my hours need to convert to seconds. seconds. So I can say one hour yep, 30 is 3,600 seconds. seconds. And that's it, folks. So my amperage is... Divided by 8, divided by 3,600. We got 2.5 amps. 2.5 amps. Not terribly difficult. These problems are easy, folks. Electrolysis problems are just a matter of learning how to play dimensional Actually, analysis. we need three significant figures in this problem. So 2.51 amps. amps. There you go. Okay.